21-year-old Andy Cape I grew up here in Vero Beach, and Saturday, he was supposed to be married here. Instead, he's in the hospital, an ICU recovering from gunshot wounds, but his friends here in Vero are still rallying around to help him. Please just wait till I'm done. I can't sit here. Apparently. Ryan Wyckoff and his family run the popular beachside bar Grinding Grape. And Ryan's childhood friend and former employee, 31 year old Andy Kapak, also finally reached his dream of owning his own bar, The Grove. Life was coming together until suddenly it took a sharp detour. Vero is like a very, very close knit community. You know, uh, this is not something that happens here often, if ever. The Grove, now a former crime scene. Police say an altercation inside the Grove last weekend ended with Andy shot four times. They have made no arrest. And the soon-to-be husband with no insurance is facing mounting medical bills. So instead of a wedding, they're having a fundraiser here at the Grind and Grape. Andy's wedding band, East Harbor, will get the crowd moving. All proceeds from the night will go to Andy. Every minute, every second that he's in there without um, health insurance is is another bill that's 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 accumulating. Hotels and other businesses have donated items for a silent auction. Ryan has started a GoFundMe for his friend, which has already raised thirty thousand dollars as people in this tight knit small town come together to help. I've known this kid since I was five years old, and I know that if, if I were in there and he was out here, he would, he would be doing the same exact thing for me. And the investigation into who shot Andy continues. If you have any information, please call the Vero Beach Police Department. In Vero Beach, Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.